Greetings and welcome to another episode of Hark the Lark. Oftentimes in my videos, I try to explain why we have <laughs> circumstances in the world that we have and that we take for granted or don't even realize. In history, the Jews have been uh, stereotyped as being like greedy, money grubbing, um, financially very savvy. And the thing I'm going to do my video on today will help you understand where the stereotypes came from. Understand that people are not born gifted in money any more than they're gifted in sports or whatever, to, you know, largely. I mean, there's a lot of work that needs to go into uh, talent, whether you're an actor, uh, banker, or uh, an athlete. So real quickly, the Middle Ages in Europe is a period of time roughly from 400 AD to 1400 AD. And in that thousand year period, this is really critical. Jews were disallowed from owning land and being farmers. And if you're disallowed from doing what almost everyone does, it means you have to be relegated to the periphery. Other jobs that maybe you don't even want, but they're the only ones you can do. And so there are three main jobs, if I can be so simple, to say that Jews were relegated into. Tax collecting, banking, finance, lending, things like that, and being merchants. And it is interesting that all three of these jobs weave together with money. Whether you're collecting taxes, which of course doesn't make you popular to boot, whether you're loaning money to someone at, with interest, which doesn't make you popular either, and whether you're a merchant and you're dealing and, and maybe double dealing a little bit in some of the merchant trade. I don't know about you, but every time I leave um, buying an automobile, I always feel like, did I get a good deal or did I not? Did, you know, did, I don't necessarily feel good about it. And I think lots of times in much of history, merchants, especially when there was wheeling and dealing and, and bargaining, a lot of people felt that way. So when you think about it, whether you're a tax collector, a loaner of money, a, you know, banker, or a merchant, those three places can be places where we're not very happy with you. And we know it all has to do with money. And sometimes money is a little bit confusing to the average American, so they don't really understand it. And when they don't understand things, they make critical uh, remarks. And so there are very negative remarks made against Jews. I'm not going to say them on my video, but, but you've probably heard them. And when you think about it, if you do something for a thousand years, you tend to get good at it, whether it's something that you're happy about or not. And so since Jews were relegated to money industry, if you will, that's why there are so many stereotypes about Jews and money. And that's as simple as that. And there's a couple other videos that I've done that kind of help you understand some other perspectives that are important in the world. So please look at those and share these with your friends and you have a wonderful day. Thank you.